Good morning. It's March 30th. Our reading today from Solid Stepping Stones is called Finish Line Day. It comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 11. And now finish the doing of it. Just as you were eager to want to do it, now there should be a corresponding eagerness to finish it as much as your resources permit. Wanting to do something for the Lord is good, but sadly that's as far as most Christians take it. I believe the reason behind many are called but few are chosen is that Christians like the feeling of being called, but they don't like the work and sacrifice and fear involved in completing a call. How many people did Jesus call to follow him who then turned away because of possessions or family or other concerns of this age? There is a subtle snare the devil sets up for us. It's based in pride. Many Christians say to themselves, of course, not very loud, if I can't do something really big for God, then it's not worth doing. If they aren't being asked to manage a worldwide ministry, they don't do anything. What they don't realize is that if they can't complete one year as a Sunday school teacher, they will never endure the pressures of a big ministry. Today is finish line day. What small task has the Lord laid on your heart that has not been accomplished yet? Finish it. Has there been a big job he told you to do and you were willing but you couldn't face the pressure? Finish it. Do you feel like you should be doing something but you don't have a sense of direction? Talk with your pastor and ask him or her for a job. Then finish it. Wanting to do something for God is good, but it's nothing but vapor unless you finish it. Let's pray. Lord, I want to be a finisher, not just a starter, or worse, someone who simply thinks about starting. Show me what I can do for you. Make me willing, and then work in me to finish what you started. You are a finisher. Make me one, too. If you agree with that prayer, say amen. Your readings today are from Deuteronomy chapters 24 and 25, and Psalms chapter 115. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.